Europa League draw on Monday, so it was the Champions League draws. We look at the 16 teams left. Some great matchups, PSG Bayern, Milan Spurs, Dortmund Chelsea, but uh, lots of eyes on that Liverpool-Real Madrid matchup, a rematch of not just last year's Champions League final, the 2018 Champions League final as well. Here are the odds, Real Madrid favorites, uh, according to the odds makers. Stevie, you weren't on yesterday. What was, mm. what was your reaction? Uh, sorry, Liverpool are the favorites. My math is not I tried right. to get him on yesterday, but he had, some, he had some technical glitches. Is that what it is? In the nickel household. Liverpool yeah. the favorites. It's not a surprise. Um, what do you think? What was your reaction? I didn't want Real Madrid. I did not want Real Madrid. We got Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's difficult to come up with a reason why Liverpool can win over this, this, these two ties. The one thing I was hoping for was that Liverpool, regardless of who they got, would be at home for the second leg. Mm -hmm. But that didn't work out either. So, yeah, right now, if the game was played tomorrow, you wouldn't really give Liverpool a particularly great chance. Does the recent history bother you at all, or does that kind of go out the window? No, it bothers you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you, when you lose to a team all the time, you don't forget it. So, so again, that's just another problem right. to put on top of the problems that Liverpool have uh, and will have when they play against Real Madrid. But do you know these stats here? You know, the amount from the final, we, we know how dominant Liverpool were, how well they played, they lost. Uh, that's what Real Madrid did to a lot of teams last year. Uh, but that's not, this is a different Liverpool mm. to, to, to May, May 28th. It's just not the same team. Um, it's a head scratcher why, no, in any given day or two games, things can turn. Uh, and I know they got the win against Tottenham at the weekend. It was sort of hanging on a bit at the end. But although Real Madrid lost to Real Vallecano and haven't been brilliant, Liverpool have been pretty terrible for the most part this year. And you think about it, we talk, the big talk last year was one of them, well, one of them, was Vinicius Jr. and Trent alexander handled that, that sort of matchup. And he was having a pretty good season by his standards defensively at that point last year. Mm -hmm. That has gone slamming downhill <laughs> like a downhill skier defensively. Mm -hmm. It's been a disaster. The back line has been a disaster for the most part for Liverpool. Big problem, uh, apart from the City game, really. Uh, and how are they going to cope when Benzema's fully fit and Vinicius is flying? Uh, it's, it's a head scratcher. Unless they sign a couple of players in this next window and, and revitalises the whole group, it's very difficult to put any money on Liverpool knocking mm. Real Madrid out. Let's be honest. It's hard to argue that Real Madrid are not the best team in Europe right now. It's hard to argue that. And you certainly can't look at Liverpool and think they're anywhere close to that. So right now, it's not great. But there's a lot of time to go. Sid, what was the reaction in Madrid to the draw? <laughs> well, the reaction was that Real Madrid had been unlucky, but that Liverpool had been even more unlucky. That Real Madrid, having won the group, would have expected to get someone slightly easier. But that, of course, at the fundamentals, as we saw last year, when Real Madrid shouldn't have been favourites against PSG, against Chelsea, against Man City and against Liverpool, and somehow found a way through. So, so the reaction has really focused on that. Um, obviously, there's a, there's a degree of excitement about the fact it's Liverpool, but there's also a degree of, oh, not them again. Um, and, and it's quite amusing that the last members' assembly, Florentino Pérez, the Real Madrid president, one of the arguments he put forward uh, for, the, for the Super League project, which, of course, he's still clinging to him and Barcelona and Juventus, but none of the other clubs, kept saying, well, you know, it can't be that we only play Liverpool every now and again. Well, you look at the last few years in the Champions League, you say, what do you mean every now and again? You play them all the time. Um, so that, that's been kind of a bit of a focus. And I think it's worth pointing out uh, something that's, that's been mentioned before. We are three months mm. plus a World Cup away from these ties. These teams could look very, very different by then. It, not, not just in the Champions League, but in the Europa League as well, of course. Uh, Luis, Stevie isn't very optimistic about Liverpool's chances. What about you? <laughs> I mean, as, 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 as optimistic I can be. I mean, the moment, I, I, there's one team that I didn't want to face, and it's Real Madrid. Not because they are, again, the, the, the most amazing team, not because they are playing in a uh, fantastic way. They, they win every single game showing a dazzling performances. Uh, but it's a team that it crews. And in the moment that they start uh, with that confidence, they can beat anybody and they can go back from everything. And uh, it's something that I think uh, uh, 
yes, Stevie just for on is uh, about playing the second game at the Bernabeu, and that's something mm. that we've seen that it gets in the heads of the players when you arrive there and you know what they've done before, and you are winning one nil uh, ahead, but still knowing that they can come back. That is an extra pressure you're gonna feel, and it doesn't matter if you win three nil back in Liverpool. That when you go to Bernabeu, you know that something can happen, and that's an extra pressure that you don't want for your players. So. Again, anything can happen. I think both teams can win this tie, but uh, definitely Real Madrid, when he gets to, to the Champions League, uh, they are always favourite. It doesn't matter against who they play. It just so happened, all those ties last year, second leg was at the Bernabeu. Mm. Chelsea, who, by the way, Real Madrid were absolutely brilliant in London. Uh, that was one of the times where the first leg, they were excellent. But it was Bernabeu in the second leg. It wasn't as good, but they got through. Uh, PSG again, horrendous. Then back to the Bernabeu, and and Man City the same. So it doesn't bode well for Liverpool, unless it's the Liverpool that turned up against Man City, which we haven't seen a lot this year. But as Sid mentioned, it, it, my God, it's three months away. So who knows? Yep. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.